Oh, and Larkin, um, a disappointing afternoon, I suppose, to be to be honest about it. Um, the hairdryer was out at half time. Do you feel you got a bit more of a reaction in that second half, or what's your thoughts immediately after? Uh, no, I don't think we got too much uh, out of the second half, so obviously the hairdryer didn't go too well, but look, i just disappointed, I suppose, the way the last train over the last two weeks. I thought there was a big performance coming and just didn't seem to materialise. Do you have to accept that there's a bit of realism here too when you are showing of some key players or for you is that an excuse at this point? No, absolutely, that's no excuse. You know, we've worked with what we have, you know, the lads that have been out injured have been out for a good while. Kiran is out for the year, we're getting a couple of lads back, but like it's no excuse. I know there's a couple of young lads there. But still, you know, the basics are still there. They're, they're still well able to hurl, they're able to win the ball and they just didn't do it tonight. So I suppose the plan now, and it's very hard to say straight after the game, just go back and reassess, plot. Um, do you feel even considering what you have available to you at the moment that you're anywhere near hitting your potential? Because if you're to ask me, I don't think you are still, even though you are down a few players. Yeah, no, we're nowhere near the potential, I think, that's in the group. Um, I have great belief in them. Like I said, they've trained very, very hard over the last two weeks. And over the last you know, three or four months, however long we've, we've been back, they've trained very hard. But they just don't seem to be able to take it to... To the match day, and you know that's something we'll have to go and look at and see why. Um, obviously, you know I don't have the answers at the moment. Um, we'll have to have a conversation about it and, and look at the reasons, but uh, it'll be hard to put, put a finger on it, I suppose. Well, I know you leave no stone unturned, unturned anyway. So we know since we spoke. I'm sorry it's not better circumstances, but good to chat you nonetheless. And thanks for your time. All right. Okay. Thanks a million.